Hey everybody, what's going on? This is the day the Lord has made. We're going to rejoice and be glad in it. Just enjoying this beautiful fall day up here in Morganton, North Carolina. Uh, going out here to South Mountain Gun Club. Man, we believe in our guns. Thank God for the Second Amendment. Is it the second? <laughs> I don't know. It's about like the Ten Commandments. Which one is it? Love God no matter what. Hey, anyway, just want to encourage you, uh, man, to pray for our leaders. Pray for those around us. Uh, it's so important. Uh, so many times uh, in the life that we live, we get so caught up about our own little world, our own little opinions, uh, that we forget to do what the Bible says. And that's to pray for those around us. Pray for our leaders. Pray for our government. You might not always agree all the time, uh, but it's so important. Uh, uh, that we support our, our leaders in prayer and I tell you what God's got everything in control uh, you don't worry man cast your care upon the Lord because he cares for you and uh, man do right by your neighbor love God with all your heart with all your mind all your soul all your strength and uh, love your neighbors yourself and uh, I'm telling you what this world will be a better place and that's where it starts at it starts with the family it starts with our neighbors uh, and being faithful right where you're at right there in your city your town uh, your country you, wherever you're watching this from, uh, you know, and being good to people. And God sees that, and the Holy Spirit doesn't miss anything. And He is in control, and it's playing out just the way He's got it planned, just as He set it in motion. One day it's not going to be like this. One day uh, He's going to gather every nation, every tongue together, and uh, we're going to sit together in peace, in love, and unity, and joy uh, with Him ruling and reigning, and us ruling and reigning with Him forever. Uh, that's good news, you know. The Word of God says in John 3 16 love God with all your heart uh, you know because he loved us first or for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life and God didn't come into the world to condemn the world but to save the world that's why he sent his son Jesus and it's so important that people understand that so many times people think that God's out there doing all these bad things and it's just the motion that's been set in place since the fall of man uh, in the garden and uh, the devil is gonna be put underfoot one day and it's all gonna be good so uh, hey just rejoice in the meantime do the right thing do the next thing right and God will bless you and he'll bless those people around you and uh, it's gonna be good so this is Mike Stroud God bless you and I'll talk to you next time